I got a box in the mail today. It's the ClickBot. The ClickBot is a STEM or Steam device, depending on if you want the A in there. And for those of you who might not know, STEM is short for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. And sometimes you put an A in there as well for the arts, then becoming STEAM. It's a term for the science side knowledges that are especially used outside of school. So in museums and science centers and those kind of areas. And this is a toy that is intended for that audience. So it's a way to learn robotics and programming through a physical device that you can mix and match yourself. And it looks really promising. So this is a robot, or actually it's a mix of several parts that turns into robots. So there's a central brain and a couple of arms or connectors, wheels, robot arms and such. And you can connect them together so that you can build different robots and then you can program them to do different things. Clickbot, this is a full kit. Nice image. Play with me, your cutest friend. I think the cuteness is one of the things they really focused on in this one. It's supposed to look friendly. Some ideas of what to do with it. If the other short side was about cuteness, this one is about education and learning. A thank you to the Kickstarter backers. And a startup presentation directly when you open the box. And this basically goes through all the basic steps of starting it up. Here's the brain. And here's one of the modules. Accessories. Information. They call this a skeleton. These are joints. More joints. Wheels. Brain, as I said. And a place to put your phone or camera. I think this is meant as a foot. Below this. More pieces. But let's start with the basics. As everything nowadays, the other end is an app. So this works as an eye or the the head of the robot, but it's also the interface. There is a round screen here. I think there's a camera in the corner and a couple of other, thing, other things in here. And actually the building instructions for the first robot is in here as well. It's going to take some time to go through and get to know all of this. There's a lot of different components. It starts with these, which can turn and that creates movement. On the side of these and everything else, there are these connectors and you just plug them together. So then there are touch sensitive legs. There are wheels. And distance sensors to start with. There's a lot more including suction cups that you can climb on the walls with. So there's huge amounts of things to play with when uh, building your own robots. So it's going to take a long time to go through all the things and program it and, and try it out. So hopefully you will see a couple of more videos around it. My next plan... It's falling asleep. 
So there's a lot of things left to do to understand this machine, and we will come back to it. My plan is to use it as a co-pilot in my spaceship cockpit. You can watch a video about that over there. <laughs> and why? It's kind of a combination of having a fun little character. And also, it looks like a cute HAL. And who can resist a cute HAL? So check some of those videos about the spaceship cockpit over here. So stay tuned and uh, subscribe and all those things if you are interested. See you around.